Today I am so excited because I am doing a get ready with me for the Drake and Migos concert. Actually, when you're seeing this, I had already went to the Drake and Migos concert, and this is the outfit I wore. If you follow me on Instagram and all my socials, which if you're not, you should be, you would have already seen this outfit. But this is the look that I actually wanted to wear. I love it so much. It matches the outfit. And yeah, so today I'm going to be talking all about the concert and how it was and showing you guys clips and showing you guys how to get this beautiful colorful teal magenta makeup look. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I love it so so much. So before we get started be sure to give this video a big thumbs up to let me know how you like it. Also be sure to comment down below your thoughts on this look and just on the video in general and be sure to subscribe to my channel if you have not already. It is such a fun time around here you will not regret sticking around. I'm actually going to show you a little outfit of the day real quick. Let's move this chair. So here's the outfit it is from Fashion Nova. I am so obsessed with it. This two-piece is the actual cutest thing in the entire world. And just sitting on my bed real quick, you can see I paired it with these black sneakers from Miss Lola. Like, ooh, girl. This gives me life. I felt like this was so sporty for Drake, yet so cute. And yeah, this is what I wore. But <laughs> if you want to see how I got this makeup look now, then please keep on watching. Okay, so I'm so excited to get started today. I have so much to talk about. I'm pretty sure I already said in the intro that this is not the day of the Drake concert, but I'm just gonna be running you guys through that entire day. And I kind of like when I do things after the event had already happened because it gives me an excuse to talk about it, you know? But actually, pause that. I'm gonna do my brows real quick and do my eyeshadow base, and then we're gonna go kind of in detail with the eyeshadow, and then afterwards, I'm gonna ramble and ramble on, so please hold. Okay, so I just set my lids and did my brows. I'm gonna go ahead and clean some of my brushes with the Shani Detox Professional Brush Cleaner just because we're working with color today and I wanna make sure that my brushes are clean for smoothless application. Okay, so for today's eye look, I am going inspired on my outfit. This outfit was from Fashion Nova, and if you guys saw me on Instagram, you already saw me wearing it for the Drake concert. The second I saw this on the site, I was like, I need to wear that to Drake, because I knew I had to wear sneakers, because I was going to be jumping around. So yeah, I have my Morphe 35B palette, and there's some perfect matches in here. And then the Jaclyn Hill palette, just for this shade right here. So, I haven't played with color in so long and I'm so excited. I'm going to zoom you guys in and we're just going to get started. So I have my blue contacts in today. I am so excited. My shirt, as you can see, it has even tones of red. So, well first for my transition, I think I want to use this rosy shade and I'm going to gradually turn it to that shade. I'm just going to gently start to map this out. I'm using an LA Girl 203 brush for this and we're doing a lot of detail work today so I'm taking this brush to do so. And what I'm doing right now is flipping my hand upwards because when you do this you're placing product but also blending with the top of the brush at the same time. I haven't played with color in so long. I'm so excited and every so often I'm going to be going in with my Morphe M504 brush and this is clean just to disperse product and blend. So there's the base on that eye. I'm going to do the same to this eye. Also, by the way guys, I don't know if you can see, I'm trying to cover my face so that it focuses on it, but I got my Dave Pierce which is right in here and I love it so much. You can't really tell right now unless you look really close just because I had to get it with the curved barbell so just for healing purposes but eventually I'm gonna make it into a hoop and I actually it was super spontaneous I saw a girl in class with it and I fell in love and I just decided to get it so I love it but anyway I'm like 
over here blending. So now I'm going to go in with a mix of this magenta with the hot pink. The hot pink I'm going to do first just to blend into the crease and start getting a little bit of a fade. Okay, so this was a look that I wanted to do the Day of the Drake concert. However, I was running a little bit late just because I had to drive from Kiara's because I had slept over the night before. So I went to the concert at the Staples Center on October 14th. And I went with Yvette Cancino, which you guys probably know her. She's a YouTuber. We had bought tickets, I believe, back in early August. And we got GA Floor tickets for only $230, which I think is good. I mean, some people might think is bad. But Drake has always been my absolute dream concert, y'all. So... When I found out he was going on tour with Migos, who you guys also know is another one of my freaking faves, I freaked the hell out. I was prepared to spend at least $500. But ever since I fell in love with Drake in like sixth grade, I just knew that someday I had to go to one of his concerts. You know, was counting down the days, was so freaking excited. And we decided that we were gonna wait because GA4 is first come first serve. So we already knew we wanted to get front row. So we decided to wait out online at 4 p.m. and the concert was supposed to start at seven and that was the perfect time. We were right in front. I was surprised no one was camping out earlier than that, honestly, but I ain't complaining. <laughs> And we got in, we ran right into GA floor section, and we managed to get front row. And guys, like, when I was just standing there, I was like, we're really front row. Like, we're front row Drake. Like, what? Like, it was just the most surreal, amazing feeling in the entire world. I was so excited. And then Roy Woods was the opener, and once he came out and I, like, it hit me how close Drake was going to be. I freaking freaked out. I'm gonna insert a bunch of videos here. sure to look at the audience and like oh my god I got videos of him singing to me and my favorite video he was singing his version of rock with me Michael Jackson edition I was looking straight into his eyes as he was I can't sing but when he was like rock the night away I was like oh <laughs> God. and like after that moment you can hear me screaming oh my god as he walked away and I literally started crying after that like oh oh my god he's even more beautiful in person guys like that man is just stunning like I just couldn't believe it like even talking about it I get all teary-eyed like I'm gonna go ahead and start working with the teals now just as I talk to you guys I'm gonna be adding onto the lid. I might have to cut the crease, but that looks beautiful just like that. So we're going to see how it looks. 
So first I'm going to add that dark teal color that was on the bottom and I'm going to be working that on the outer corner. And we're just going to be blending this into the magenta, into the crease as well. As you can see it creates a beautiful fade and the shades just mix together. That's why I love this Morphe palette. Ooh, this is making me want to work with color more often, honestly. This is freaking stunning. So yeah, I want to say Roy Woods came out around 7.15. Migos came around around 8.15. Or no, Roy Woods came out 7.30-ish. I'm pretty sure, don't quote me. And every so often I'm going in between back with the magenta. Ooh, stunning. And then Drake had come out around 9 15 and oh my god i was screaming so loud it was the most surreal moment to see him there and up close like obviously it would have been surreal if i didn't get front row like it would have been just as surreal but to be front row drake like at my dream concert i was just like is this even real like what is even happening right now I'm just gonna go in with my blending brush so yeah the weight was honestly worth it I was not moving from that spot there was this point where I was so thirsty but I was like I am not moving away from this spot hell no but that concert was the best concert I've ever been to in my entire life first of all Migos is so amazing you guys know I saw them at Coachella and that was a dream come true so to be so close this time was amazing. They are so hyped. They know how to get the crowd going. And then Cardi B came out. And you guys know she's my other fave. Like, I was freaking dying. So she came out. Playboy Cardi came out, which I freaking love him. In New York, I'm Lily Ra A. <laughs> and then Little Baby came out. I actually predicted that Little Baby was gonna come out. But yeah, literally a dream. I'm gonna go in with the Jaclyn Hill teal now. Maybe this will save me from not needing to cut the crease. Honestly, I think I'm gonna have to because this is coming up a little dark just because it's mixing with everything else. And I want the teal to be able to pop just like that one. But yeah, literally the best concert of my freaking entire life. I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer, and I'm just gonna take a little angled brush super quickly just to cut the crease. But yeah, I did my everyday go-to glam for the actual concert. And a video on that is going up soon if it's not already. But this is what I would have done if I had some extra time. But it's all good in the neighborhood. Okay, let me see now. Okay, that's vibrant. However, it's not super green. So there we go. Okay, that's pretty similar. I'm just going to keep mixing greens and teals. Just like that. And then, of course, I'm going to blend the outer edge with the magenta sometimes when you're blending colors like this it'll become darker than you want it just because it's blending so the mix of the blue and the pink is creating a deeper purple so you just got to keep working different colors add lighter colors sometimes or like a pink something that you didn't expect to add just to brighten that up look how beautiful that is so yeah i'll remember that concert till the actual day i die i'm definitely gonna go again to drake next tour he has all the videos i have are actually insane like and that was my first concert ever being front row so as you can imagine i was already freaking out because i've never been front row and then freaking drake like honestly what i was not okay at all <laughs> like at all okay so i think pretty much done oh, so beautiful and i'm ready to start working on the face and do the lower lash line and all of that so i'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys out now so i'm just gonna take a makeup wipe and quickly clean up a little underneath also guys my nails oh my god go follow and go book nailed by nat underscore on instagram natalie is freaking amazing inside and out she's one of my closest friends and she's so talented we did these nails for halloween and they're actually glow in the dark they are so sick like obsessed isn't even the word okay so i cleaned that up and now i'm just gonna moisturize just a little bit more i seriously woke up after the concert and i was like was that a dream like did that happen because it literally felt like a dream the entire time <sighs> 
Like, I still can't believe I made eye contact with Drake. I looked into his eyes while he's saying. And y'all, when that happens, like in the moment when he's looking at you, it feels like five hours. Like when he was singing that part right there, I was staring and I was like, like, oh my God. He looks even better in person. Like, oh. I, I cry. But next concert I'm gonna go to is Rolling Loud LA. The lineup is so amazing. I was waiting for the lineup to buy my tickets and now I'm like, well, duh, like I have to go. All right, let's start on this foundation. But yeah, for the concert, I wore a low ponytail. That's why I'm just doing it for this video and it's a little bit messier, but it's just for like the overall look and vibe. But I curled the ends of the ponytail and I actually love how that looks. Oh, I love how this color looks and the detail like It's making me want to play with color every day. Okay, so now I'm gonna conceal Make this pop and I love the blue eyes brown eyes would look amazing with this look as well or any eye color Honestly, but the blue eyes with this looks so cool because it looks like they're just melt melting into the eyeshadow I got my contacts from TTD eye and they look so natural I actually get asked sometimes if they're my real eyes because they sometimes can pass <laughs> I have rainbow ones that I've been meaning to wear So it's a little difficult to work around the edges. So that's why I have this brush right here from Smashbox. It helps me get right in there. And this is also gonna clean up this inner part. And there you go. And obviously I have to work on blending the outer corners once my under eyes are set. Guys, I was so hyped when Drake was performing um, his older songs, like the motto. And for a second, I actually thought he was going to bring out Lil Wayne because he said how the first time he was in the Staples Center, he was performing with Lil Wayne. And I was like, no. Imagine how iconic that would have been if they both were performing the motto. Okay, so now I'm taking that clean brush just to blend that outer edge. And I'm going to go ahead and set the rest of my face. And it was funny because when Cardi B came out, they played motorsport, right? But they skipped over her part. So I was like, ah, she's not going to come out. And I, that and I were saying how she might come out because of Offset, you know? But I was like, eh, like, I don't know because she didn't even come out for the New York show. Like, I'm not sure. And all of a sudden, Offset was like, make some noise for my baby Cardi B. And there she comes. And I was literally screaming <laughs> yeah but LA has been so hot lately why is my lighting so dark I don't know if it's cut just because I'm doing a dark look and I'm tripping I mean I don't think it looks bad but one second okay I think that's a little better so now I'm gonna take over the lower lash line and I'm gonna take the excess product on the brush that I use for the magentas and I'm gonna smoke that out and actually I'm gonna see if I have a teal Liner. I think I actually just got one from LA Girl, so. Yes, yeah, so I have two liners from LA Girl. I have their neon eyeliner, the Shock Wave in Fresh, and then I have their Perfect Precision Eyeliner in Tropical. So first I'm going to take Tropical and connect that. Ooh, that is so pretty. And now taking Fresh. Oh my god, that's stunning. At first, I thought I was going to put black on the lower lash line, but I feel like that looks way better. I'm actually going to go in with the brush. Now, one more time. Going with the purple to smoke out. Yes! I'm literally obsessed. So now I'm going to go ahead and glue my lashes, get them prepped. And I'm going to put black on my upper lash line, put my mascara on, you know, the drill. And I'm finishing the eyes off first today just because when I have intense eyes like this, I don't want to go in and make my face look way too harsh. I'm literally so happy with how this look turned out. This is my favorite look that I've done in a long time. Probably because this is the first time I played with color in a long time, but oh hell yes. These are V Beauty Store Lashes in Hazel, my absolute favorites lately. I seriously get so many compliments a day when I'm wearing these. You can get money off using code Adiel. Ah! 
I'm obsessed. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and bronze up my face. Today I'd rather have a heavier bronze than a heavier blush. I'm actually gonna just take my blush brush and swirl it around my cheeks to pick up the excess product that's on there so that I don't have to dip into my blush and overpower anything. And now for highlight, I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Crystal Fire and Lightning Dust, just cause this has a little bit of a wider glaze and I feel like it's gonna match really well. Ooh, yes. Oh my God, that is gorgeous. And I'm gonna put this on the inner corner and brow bone today. It looks super icy and beautiful. Okay, so then today for lips, I think I'm going to go in with MAC Velvet Teddy. This has been my go-to lip color. I absolutely love it, and it's a classic nude that I feel matches really well. Now... So this is the final look. I am absolutely obsessed with it. Words cannot even describe how obsessed I am with this look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed listening to me chat and fangirl about Drake today. And I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I am definitely going to be rocking this all day. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much and I will see you guys next time. Bye everyone.